this is Lita from The Hypnotics. I am here at CES 2024 at the Latin AR booth. We're going to do a little demo of their AR glasses and check out what they're about. Let's take a look. Where does it come from? So right here, you're able to see through these lenses uh, navigational directions. So as I'm looking through them, I can see things like barcode scanners, I can see QR codes, and I can actually see clearly through, so it doesn't look... It looks really cool, actually. All right, I I'm here with Jiwon from Letton AR. Jiwon, can you tell us a little bit about the brand and um, how the glasses are currently being used? Yeah, the Letton AR is a Korean company which develops on augmented reality smart glasses uh, optics. So uh, this year it is our seventh the uh, participation of the CES exhibition. Uh, meanwhile, uh, until uh, now, uh, we have got so many questions that the when will be the Letton AR's product ready or who will use the Latin ARs, the optical modules to make their own smart glasses. And the answer is now. Uh, now we are showing it the CES 2024. Uh, Latin AR is now mass producing its own optical modules and uh, providing to the uh, globally renowned customers all, all, all around the world and including the our dearest partner with the Georgian and the American company and many other Asian companies uh, integrating our optics into the, their own smart glasses. Very cool. And so um, what kind of applications do you expect people to be using and seeing on these? Yeah, AR can be, AR smart glasses can be a post-smartphone devices that can replace the many existing use cases, such as the tourism guide or the smart office or maintenance or the logistics and many others. Yeah. That's really awesome. And if someone, someone wanted to get one of these glasses, um, what's kind of the best way to do that? How would they go about that? Yeah, so Latin AR, as Latin AR is mass producing the optical modules uh, we are happy to provide any uh, samples or the like um, of course the more volume uh, optics so uh, actually I'm in charge of the business development at the same time so please feel free to reach out to me through uh, via email or LinkedIn or any other ways yeah awesome. I'll be happy to support for someone from the B2C site is there like a rough range of pricing that someone can expect if they wanted them or how to well what I can say is that the it should not be uh, more expensive than the current smartphone because in the future, of course, the smart glasses may be able to replace the current smartphone. If that's the case, it can be more expensive. But now it should be more closer to the accessories, like a current the smart watches or the more, even the better features compared to the smart watches. But anyway, somewhere between the smart watches and the smartphones. Yeah. A wearable sort of price range, yeah, basically. Right, yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Yuan. We appreciate it. That's more about Lead and AR. We will include details in the comments below. And thank you so much again.